what's up, what's up, what's up, what's up? It's Liquor Shop Fridays, come online. Oh yes, it's Liquor Shop Fire Fridays, and we're getting all the way free this morning as you're coming online. Come online, come online this morning. God bless you as you're coming online. We are getting all the way free, y'all. This is it. This is it. We are on fire this morning in the name of Jesus Christ. We're just setting forth our atmosphere. Our guest of honor is coming up right now, but we're going to share this with at least 10 people, a bare minimum, 10 people on your friends list right now. In the name of Jesus, we're just going to exalt God. We're lifting him up right now to set forth an atmosphere because we know God is a deliverer. God is trying to set somebody free. God is some, trying to empower somebody and inspire somebody in the name of Jesus Christ. Freedom is sweet, y'all. Freedom is oh so good. And whom the sun set free this morning is so, so free indeed. So I want you to begin to exalt him right now. Say thank you, God. Thank you for bringing me this far. Thank you that you'll never leave me nor forsake me. Forsake me. Thank you. Just say thank you. Oh my God. God bless you, demon slayers, as you're coming online. We are guiding all the way free from narcissistic abuse. We're getting all the way free from oppression. We're getting all the way free from corruption. We are getting all the way free. And I guess that it's coming. Oh my God. What a cheat. What an honor to meet such a powerful woman. Oh my God. She is able to empower and activate. Yes, activate greatness inside of you. So if you're dealing with any type of toxicity, please, 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 please make sure that you stay online right now. Yes, this is what we're doing this morning. Yes, you're coming online. Demon Slayers, if you have a prayer request. Oh, I'm so happy for you to be here this morning too, beloved. Oh my gosh, I'm so happy to see all of you. Let me tell you, if you have a question during this broadcast, if you have a prayer request, yes, prayer works, y'all. If you, if you have that on your heart as we're going through this conversation, please put it in the chat and we will go with the flow and the moving of the Holy Spirit. Did you know God is everywhere? God is right beside you. Gotta hail him up this morning and he wants you to be empowered. I'm bringing our guests on. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. You know, girl, I, I, I told her I have to set the atmosphere. We have to set the atmosphere because we're not just spectators this morning, but we're participating in receiving some blessings and we're participating in praying for one another. Somebody is sitting in a place bound, isolated, doesn't know what to do next, doesn't know what is on the other side of the fear that's trying to keep them isolated and depressed, discouraged and defeated. But I'm here to tell you that we are spreading love and blessings to you in the name of Jesus Christ. I'm just putting up my information here. If you have a prayer request, you can also send it to AliciaBreeze.com. For those of you who don't know, I'm just a simple woman who loves God. I'm a, I'm a minister of this great, great gospel. And I too am somebody that has experienced the effects of narcissistic abuse. And so we ain't playing games this morning. No, we're not. We are not playing no games this morning because God wants to restore the years. Yes, the decades, the months, whatever it is this morning that the enemy stole from you. Glory to God. So we're going to bring, my sister says, please pray for my daughter, Titi. She needs to break free from a narcissistic abusive relationship. Sherry, you are in the right place. And so we're lifting up hands right now for anybody who is bound, anybody who has a loved one who is bound, a sister, a mother, a brother, a son. Yes, it happens to brothers as well. And so, Father, we are praying, Lord God, that every single stronghold would be broken. Every yoke of bondage. It is not our portion to be bound this morning. But God says you are to be let free. And where the spirit of the Lord is, there is freedom this morning in the name of Jesus Christ. So we're praying for your daughter, Titi. We're praying for the spirit of God to come upon her from the crown of her head to the soles of her feet. Minister and tear down the lies of the enemy. And let the truth make her free this morning in the name of Jesus Christ. My sister McKinney, we hailing you up. Please follow my sister right now in the name of Jesus Christ. She can help, help you get the right man, mindset and she can help you tell your story. So we're going to bring her on in a few weeks. But right now, we're bringing in my girl, Powerhouse. Don't play no game. Tell it like it is. Oh my gosh. You got some people who are set to be lionesses in the earth. Oh my gosh. To, to tear some things down and I believe this is one of them. And so we're just going to ask you to come on. I just got to give some God, God some praise a little bit. 
just a little bit, just a little bit. My sister says, praying for freedom for 20 year narcissistic abuse, afraid to leave. No, my words will be mean with verbal torture. All in the name of God that I am not a believer if I leave. I can't take much more. We bind every form of spiritual abuse right now in the name of Jesus Christ. We are here every day praying for victims, every single day praying and slaying. Please follow this broadcast. This isn't just what we are here. Yet we understand deliverance sometimes is a process. You might feel strong one day and be weak in the next. And so God wants you to get all the way through. This is why we're having these conversations on an ongoing basis. If you want to subscribe to AliciaBreeze.com, you can because we do master classes, free master classes. We just finished one. One will be coming up in a couple months. And guess what? You can also subscribe for a very, very affordable cost for us to, to work together on an ongoing basis a couple times a month, give you some accountability, give you a community and give you some support. But enough about me. This is all about God. And this is all about your freedom this morning in the name of Jesus Christ. Bombard her with your presence, my sister said, in Jesus' name. Oh, we're not leaving anybody. Nobody's getting left behind. Say it. T tell, the, tell the heavenlies right now, Jesus, God, use me because nobody's getting left behind. I'm going to take back what the enemy stole from me today and right now. I don't know what's going to take place right here on this broadcast, but we prophesy and we believe that some words will come and flow out of these vessels who have rendered themselves to God and something will be torn down in the name of Jesus Christ. Glory to God. I'm bringing my sister on. I know I'm taking a few minutes, but you know we got to set an atmosphere. So let me just bring her right now. This is the Miss Lucinda Cross. We're bringing her in right now. Put your prayer hands up, y'all, because we know this is warfare. We ain't playing no games. This is warfare this morning in the name of Jesus Christ. Oh, I'm so glad you stayed up all night. You did not, you are definitely not wasting time. Oh, she's coming. Oh, she's coming. Share this with somebody this morning. Yes, share it with somebody. Oh, my goodness. There she is. Good morning, beautiful lady. Good we are morning. We are finally in this place. Oh, my gosh. It's so good to see you. I am elated. I am elated to have you here. Everybody, welcome to put some heart, put some fire. It's Fire Liquor Shop Friday. And I need you to light it up this morning and share this with at least 10 to 20. I mean, I, I guarantee there is somebody that is waiting for this conversation to happen, especially with such a powerhouse. And before I introduce her right now, I want to let you know, real recognize real, baby. <laughs> All right? <laughs> so, um... This is how we met. This is our hey, first I'm conversation. And um, this is how we met. We were a few weeks back. If you haven't checked out the broadcast, we had another Fire Friday talking about getting free from narcissistic abuse and, and all forms, not just in relationships. It could be socially. It could be in business. It could be in all these different dynamics. And we brought Cheryl Nemhard on. So check it out if you have it. And Cheryl, when she saw Lucinda come on the broadcast, this, what she just got excited. And I knew if Cheryl is getting excited over this young woman, I have got to meet and connect with her. So this is how we connected. So you guys are entering into another yet another first time conversation because you know, we just keep it real. And then I went and did a little bit of research on her and I was like, wow, God is good. Look how he just connects people. And I said, this is a type of woman, not only that I need to meet, but I believe all of you need to meet and get more acquainted with. I mean, she's a, a best-selling author. She's a, a TV host. She's a, a business coach. She's an entrepreneur. She has a nonprofit, um, activating women all around the world, okay? And so I know God has deposited so much in her today for us to have this conversation. Um, man, thank you for being here. <laughs> Thank, thank you for being there. And I know, I, I know that I only touched a little bit. She's been on uh, to the Today Show. She's working with Nike. She's working with Essence. Oh, my gosh. I'm, you know why I love having women like you? I know I talk a lot. Let me just get this out there before I get You're this fine. Out <laughs> Let me tell you, I love seeing women having conversations of this nature because a lot of times people would look at me and say, how could you have gone through that? No one would know. And there's this mindset that people connect abuse with intellect, okay, with lack of success or poverty and all of these types of things. And so um, 
I don't know, we're navigating this, this conversation like right now, like this is real time. So um, when you invited, when you, when I invited you on the show and you accepted and said yes, I knew that there were some nuggets that you would want to share and be dropping. And so I'm giving you the platform right now as you, firstly, where are you, where are you situated right now in the world? So right, I'm from New York. I'm in Connecticut right now. Okay, sweet. Okay, sweet, sweet Connecticut. Okay, so we're just going to pray real quick, just like two minutes of prayer, because we need Jesus, y'all. And then we're going to go forth and we're going to enter this conversation. Everyone put your prayer hands up. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, we just thank you for this moment. Thank you that you've ordained it, that you are in total control. Thank you that you're divinely connecting people, oh God, with like-mindedness. Thank you, Lord God, that you put something inside of Lucinda, oh God, that would be able to release a greater thing in somebody's life, that would be able to ignite and spark change and transformation in somebody's life. But Father, we know that you are the God of the increase this morning. And so Father, we need your anointing. We need the blood of Jesus to cover us in this conversation. The backlash is real. We don't know anybody, somebody, might be on here afraid even to be on this broadcast this morning but father we pray that the hedge of protection would be around all of us as we go forth boldly lord god knowing that you are the god of our freedom we believe that you are going to heal deliver and set free this morning and we trust you in all things in jesus name we pray amen 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 amen, amen my amen. sister all right so firstly i want to ask you um do you have any experience with what I call the spirit of narcissism? Okay. And if you have, oh yes. Okay. So just let's get right into it. Cause I don't, yes. I don't want to waste any more time. <laughs> yeah, I, I have. And you know, the sad thing about it is when you don't realize how powerful you are and what God has placed in you, you'll keep running into the same type of spirit and the same type of energy and it can come mm. and it'll even surface even in your own children it'll surface in your business partners the people that you work with and so for me it was with a relationship that i had with my kid's father and it was just heavy but it mm -hmm. also stemmed from other different energies that led up to that and so it, i think when it comes to that narcissistic um spirit mm -hmm. it's a build-up it's yes. a build-up and when you you wake up and you're saying you know it's almost as if you're not releasing the enemy that's with you and so now it surfaces and it starts to grow with you and it's not so much something that i have but it's something that i was attracting and so mm. it's horrible and it made me feel as if i didn't matter i became um codependent um i lost my voice um you know and i was just in a space of let me just be and that wasn't me and my light started to dim my light was dimming down and I just felt like I was just existing. It was probably one of the worst things because you feel as mm -hmm. if you're always doing something wrong. Yes. If, if you're the problem, if you're the issue. And so I needed to break away from that. And it, it wasn't a gradual thing. I needed to go cold turkey. This, mm. this I have to go. I'm taking what I have. I'm taking what I have. Because if there's anything else that is um, that I'm connected to that you feel as if you can say, well, this is what we have together, it'll it'll bring me right back and yes. into feeling guilty into feeling sorry into feel when I'm the one being mentally verbally abused in the situation I, I feel as if oh I have to make did I do something wrong and constantly second guessing myself so it was a roller coaster that I needed to break and I needed to break it cold turkey and not look back no do, don't even pacify it afterwards yes. because what 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 end up happening is now, even in business relationships, I start running into it. And mm -hmm. it's like, it turns into a people pleasing. So not only have I, now am I walking around with this, you know, this narcissistic magnet mm -hmm. of hate, you know, but now I'm picking up people pleasing. Now I'm picking low self, low self esteem. Um, you know what? I choose to stay in the background because I don't want too much light. In mm -hmm. other words, I, was saying, I don't want anybody to hurt me. So I'm building these guards. Yes. I'm building these guards and I'm, I'm going to church every day and I'm saying, God, I want to be free. You know, God, mm. when it's in my time and my turn, God, you said north, south, east, west, but I have these guards. I've built up a wall that I wasn't really ready. I wasn't ready to really scream down. So I was in a, I was in a journey of running. 
mm. away from the situation and not facing what the real issue is. Lucinda, you can say no. Lucinda, this goes against your morals, values. Lucinda, this is not what's going to work for you. Lucinda, that's their issue, not your issue. And so when I had to realize, because I would take on other people's problems, other people's yes. situations become a part of their agendas. That's the whole narcissistic thing. If you're yes. not on their agenda, when they want you on their agenda, you're a bad person. You, oh you, you know, you're not for me. Are you really for the people? Because you, so it'll make, it made it made me feel as if because I say no to you, then I don't have any value here at this Jeez. time, at this moment. And that mindset, you have to crack it. Mm -hmm. You no. have to crack it. You have to crack yes. the shell. Because, you know, one of my favorite stories in the Bible is about the talents. You know, I did a mm -hmm. whole keynote on it and I just, I love the story, but as we have these talents that we're carrying, if we are allowing narcissistic energy, gaslighting, yes. um, verbal abuse, mental abuse, sometimes they'll even use spiritual abuse against you. To yes. say, you know, and so and you, you hide your talents, not because you don't want to show God, listen, I can make a profit. I want to produce what you gave me, but I, I don't, I don't even know if I want them to see what you gave me. So I'm just going to stay here. Jesus. You know, I, I don't want too much, don't, don't, don't give me too much yes. of, of, of a purpose. You know, I know I'm supposed to do something, but maybe I'm just supposed to stay here on the third row in the fourth seat every Sunday. And, make, you know, I'm not going to let them know what I'm capable of doing because they, there may be a narcissist here and I know how, it, how that feels. And so yes. no more hiding talents. That's, that's my thing today. Um, Amen. Alicia. We cannot hide our talents any longer. We have to use them. We have to produce and that means if we're not using our talents and willing to show up and willing, willing to cut, cut this narcissistic uh, energy off, um, the gaslighting off, the lies that you're, you're lying on me. Yes. That's not who I am. You know, exactly. and so if we're not willing to cut that off, we're hiding our talents. And in other words, we're saying, God, I worship the fear more than the faith. Oh, my gosh. You spoke it. You said it. That's so powerful because that's one of the many revelations that I too have had myself, Lucinda, was that we start to commit idolatry. We start to worship either the fear, worship the narcissist, worship the mindsets and the strongholds that has been put into our minds that are exalting itself above the truth and the word of God. You are saying so much. I see someone saying, I am guilty this morning. I don't know what that means, but I'm letting you know that there's no condemnation in Christ. I don't know where you're standing in your spiritual walk this morning, but God says he is real. And because this is a spiritual conversation, you cannot have this type of warfare without knowing there's a God that exists. Right, Lucinda? Absolutely. Like you can't. It cannot because it's from the arsenal of Satan. I need you to understand that, that these people have been influenced they have been, you know, inundated, whatever it is. And so they too have to repent. These people are broken. There is an insati insatiable appetite to control. And in this context, control the mind. That's huge. That's we huge, have to right? We feeding that. We, yes. You know, a lot of people we feed, we keep building this narcissist up. So, you know, they go, they'll go from relationship to relationship, but you notice they'll leave a track of brokenness and never yes. wholeness. And so what, it, yes. what they're doing is they're being built while others are being broken. Broken. And so we got to stop feeding it. So when they say, oh, you're going to need me, or they yes. say, you know, this is not what I want you, you know, the constant control without making it seem like control, when you, th that's constant feeding this animal. <sighs> Jesus, you said it without you knowing that it's being controlled. And this is what this conversation, we're bringing light to some things because somebody's in a situation, Lucinda, where they feel like their mind is playing tricks on them, okay? And I'm here to tell you, if any of this is resonating with you right now, you know, you can reach out to Lucinda. You can reach out to myself. Follow her right now and follow this broadcast as well because we are supporting you on your journey. Look at what the Lord has done in your life, though. Look, but I know it was a fight. I know it was a fight. And that's what people don't understand. They don't recognize, man. That with much responsibility, so much affliction, there is a there is a route. It's like a it's like a rite of passage for that this level of greatness that you behold, my sister. Listen, I was told, you know, 
that the, I was told I wasn't going to make it. I was told I wouldn't, wouldn't be anything. I was told just because you decided to leave, I'm not doing anything for the family, right? I was told that, you know, you have a degree, you decided to go and start this business. That's dumb. You're not going to make it. But yes. I tell you, I tell you, when, when you decide to choose you and choose yes. what God has called you to be, and it is a fight, it's not easy. It's a constant battle of, am I doing the right thing? Is this the right time? You know, well, maybe they didn't mean it like this. But what mm -hmm. happens now, we have it. And guess mm -hmm. what was going to bed with me? That narcissistic energy, even though I left, I had to break it. I had to break it. I had to fast. I had to pray. I had to talk to my sisters. I had to be vulnerable. I just, listen, yes. my abuse is not what your abuse may look like. But this is, yes. it, it's, I can't sleep at night because I'm feeling bad. I, I'm not sleeping at night because I'm wondering how I'm going to make it. And the, that, that constant, oh, you're going to need me, you know, um, how are you going to make it? Listen, we got to get to the point where it, that, that, those words, you, we have to laugh, you know? And mm -hmm. we have to laugh because what they're feeling when we pull, and this is where they, they start to build. It, mm -hmm. it, it, it's, it's so spiritual. They start to build. So when we pull back from them, it's yes. as if we cut the umbilical cord. Yes. And now they're like, wait a minute, who do you think you are to get yes. strong without yes. me? Who do you think you are? Who do you think? You're not worshiping me? You don't, yes. Do you know who I am to you? Do you know mm. what I've done for you? Do you know? Oh, you about to let the best thing in your life, in my life. Huh. So <laughs> they start to put themselves, they're on such a pedestal because we put them on there. Mm -hmm. And others put them on. Imagine five, six, seven relationships. Your mothers, your aunts, everybody putting you constantly on this, feeding you like you're not doing anything wrong. Then you run across somebody who's sweet and open-hearted. Yes. You're like, wait, you're not worshiping me? <laughs> Who do you think you are? Who right? do you think you, you've got some, yeah. and then you want to leave? You've got some nerve. I mean, everything that you have for, I've heard the worst. Mm -hmm. I've heard the worst, but God. Yes. But God, you yes. know, and, and but God, that's why we have to believe God always turns it around. And he's yes. just always waiting for us to say, I was waiting for you to come talk to me. I, I was he was over there worshiping me. that narcissist. I was wondering when he was going to realize that you were talking to a dead stone. I, this is living water here. I was just wondering when you were going to get up Woo! off the floor from that from that rock that you was believing was giving you love and come over here. And take a sip. That's all. I just want to give you a little bit. It was waiting. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. You are dropping. The, the, so many things that you're saying right now is just resonating in such a, a, a space with me. I don't know. Does anybody else feel like that? They feel like they're getting confirmations right here under Lucinda's voice because I'm telling you, what you're saying is 100. And this, because it is a spirit, that's why people are going to resonate. It's going to be like, is, is she talking about me right now? Because it's a spiritual manifestation. Now, this is the thing. I'm looking at the things that you're doing now. And I'm thinking somehow this, this did your nonprofit activate, bir be birthed from these types of situations? I know you have a long history of many life situations. But how now did God like, like, when did you, okay, like, before we even get there, I'm, I'm rushing it, I'm rushing, I'm getting excited. <laughs> how, how did you now get to that point where you knew this is something I have to break free with? You said God was waiting on you. I always say that. It's like, I, I love when God just connects people to the same language. <laughs> I said, you've been waiting on God. Anybody who's a demon slayer who, who, knows, who follows this broadcast is, but God is waiting on you, right? And so Absolutely. what was that moment like? How long did it take uh, you? Um, how, how many years? Like, what did it, did it progress? And what was that point, like that moment, you know, that shifting moment for you? Yeah. You know, for me, I would say it took me about, uh, well, the, the reason why I got into my business, Activate Worldwide, and even started my nonprofit, Activate Your Life, those, those were passion projects, but also something that I wanted to use my talents for, for my for-profit with helping women, who are in business, but they feel like they're the best kept secrets. And they're like, help me with creating some type of marketing campaign. I want to mm -hmm. get out there. And so that's yes. what the company does. The nonprofit helps 
um, women who are recently released from prison or even inside and are about to come home, but they mm -hmm. need some guidance. And those areas are in empowerment and entrepreneurship. So we do training, mm -hmm. mentorship in that area. That came from my own past stories. And that's what we have to realize is God has given us each a glory story. And yes. it doesn't have to be a bad one, but if you have a glory story, you can take that glory story, activate it, and now see different ways to profit from it so that you can feel. I'm not afraid of making money because I love to give. Amen. You know, I love to sow. I love, I love to give. So I'm not, I, I, I'm like, come on, bring it on. God bless this, bless this, you know, but I got into it because it was really about me proving society wrong, proving my, uh, people who didn't think I can do it. And then yes. even for me to see, I, like, I'm not afraid to take risk. I'm a huge risk taker, right? And mm -hmm. so it's also for me to see how far can I go with this? If God mm -hmm. said so, you know, I want to I wanna try your word. You know, I know God be like, my daughter here. <laughs> but I'm not going to let me, I, you're not going to give me a prophecy and, and, and give me a word that I'm not going to run and take. Amen. And I'm not going I'm not the one to sit down and I used to be a huge procrastinator. God taught me a lesson about that. But I'm not going to sit down and pray about praying about it to pray about it to pray about it some more. You amen. know, once it's done, either it's a yes and an amen like God for me I feel he doesn't say no either it's not right now. That's not what I have for you, you know, and this is not the right time, but it's always something greater. And so mm -hmm. that's what I live by and that's why I put myself out there. I put my glory story out there. It opened up media outlets where I was like, yes. oh, I don't want people to know that. I want them to see, you know, the perfect Lucinda, the one who doesn't have a backstory. And mm -hmm. that got me but so far. When I started sharing the glory story, the grit, the grind, the thing that made me embarrassed and crushed my ego and my pride, I lost clients, I lost money, I had to shut my business down. But when it was rebuilt, I started in 2006. When it was rebuilt in 2009, it was nonstop. We are here. It is 2022. Hallelujah. I, many, I personally don't know too many business owners who are still thriving from 2006 to now. Right? Sorry, so, but when I, when I opened up with my glory story, mm -hmm. pathways that was open, doors that was open, windows that was open. It has been non-stop and I'm just grateful for it. And yes, I have my highs and lows. It's never, uh, you know, I wake up and it's like, whoo, you know, but yes. it's, but I know that God is working and I'm yes. not giving up. I don't have, no one on here has permission to give up. Amen. You, have, you don't have permission to give up. You don't, I, you don't have permission to throw in a towel. Use that towel, wipe your forehead, get it together, and we keep it pushing. And it's not about faking it past your pain. Mm -hmm. It's about understanding, okay, this is what I'm going through, and I'm trusting God that he's taking me somewhere with this. So we have to say, I, I'm thankful for all the narcissists I came across. Come on. Because I wouldn't even know how, how if you felt that you needed to put your own person, your, all, all your energy into breaking me down, I've got to be something special. Exactly. I've got to be. If you want to, you want to push me to. You want to reject me. You want to tell me lie. You, I've, there's something so powerful in me. So I am thankful for every narcissist, gaslighter, liar, mm -hmm. cheater. I'm so grateful Whoa. for that. And when we become <laughs> grateful for the mm -hmm. for the nasty, yes, <laughs> God's making way. <laughs> God's making way. No, I always say, th th these enemies be working for God. You don't even know. They they every, do. every devil got a deadline, <laughs> right? <laughs> and everybody, everybody has a Judas at the table. And I always say, God is not just preparing us for greatness, but he's pre uh, preparing us for betrayal, right? Because it's through that that, like, the glory will come forth. Oh, my goodness. So, listen, when was it? How long were you in this relationship for? And when was that moment? Because we're, you're, we're, we're going through like turning basically the pain into purpose and, and to making sure, listen, you reap from the pain that you went through. Don't, there's no shame in that. Meaning like, I think when you talk about shame, that's huge. Even for myself, people have watched me on my journey. I used to be a, a pastor's wife, okay? And, and more and more, I'm speaking out, I'm speaking out, I'm speaking out. And it's very, very, very challenging. I have backlash. I have people smearing me even as we speak. People doing lives 
and smearing me out there, okay? Because, because they can't, they want to keep you. Those spirits are very threatened by you, okay? They're very threatened because they know what has gone on. They're mm. very threatened because they know what you possess and they want it so bad. But instead of worshiping the God that gave it to you, their, fit, their, their pride keeps them blinded and locked up in their own self, right? And so for you to break through that deception, first of all, I salute you, soldier, because you for, for you to even, let me tell you, if I hold up my hand right now, you see five fingers. And if you see three, everyone's going to think you're crazy, right? So watch this. This is how, for those of you who don't understand how narcissistic work, they, they, they're playing, they're bringing you into a world of deception. Even with, even with the love bombing, they're bringing you into a, a, a place of deception so you think of yourself higher than you ought to. And what happens? Pride comes before the fall. So it's a trap even for you to open up the door to those, of the, those that are, are love bombing and then gaslighting you, bringing into trauma bonds. Then you, you, then you tie in, you know, all sexual relationships and soul ties and all these things. And then you're in a hot mess. And God, and I think one of the key things that you're saying today is that it, it creates a, a separation or seemingly makes you think there's a separation mm -hmm. between you and God. Because mm -hmm. we know nothing shall separate you from God. But the narcissist, narcissistic spirit will keep you, keep your destiny delayed, keep you tired and fatigued, cause you to, to question your mind. And so therefore, get, guess what? What a man think is so if he is. So if you don't know who, if you have a deception in your mind, how are you going to execute the plan? I speak to so many women who are stuck, literally, and they are, mm -hmm. you know, it's not just, and they're stuck because they haven't receive the natural tools that you uh, teach them right and then they haven't received the spiritual tools but you put those two together Ooh. you transcend Ooh. period atmospheres mm. you transcend yes. then that scripture you reign in heavenly places with christ jesus that actually becomes real to you you be like this is why we pray you download you know what happened with you lucinda god gave you a vision and then you trusted him when you didn't even know what was going to happen next. You trusted him with the shame. You said, God, you said that I have no, no, them that call upon the name of the Lord shall not be ashamed. I'm bringing you spiritual context to your experience, okay? And so therefore, when you went forth, you saw it and then it made you worship God even more. Because now you know, I don't stand here on my own. I'm standing here by the grace of God. Amen? Mm -hmm. And I'm praying that that narcissist is watching you right now. And I pray that they are being edified and convicted somehow by the power of the Holy Spirit, where we know that takes a miracle. Because these people don't change, y'all. I'm telling you right now, it's a miracle for them to change. Somebody's questioning right now. And I'm telling you, I'm not going to say God, with God, all things are possible. But they need a God encounter for them to be totally transformed. And you ain't God. Let God be God. In the name of That's Jesus right. Christ. My That's sister, right. tell us right now, when was, I want to know the day, like the day. Was it a day? Was it a week? Was it a season? How did you break free from this? Because there seems like there's so much bondage, man. So much. You know, for me, it was, it was a journey. And the yes. love bombing will have you believe that that is, it's so tricky. Because you're like, oh my God, this person is so engulfed in me. And you can't that, say no. You can't say no. And that pedestal they put you on, like you said, that ego and pride, that comes right before the breakdown, you know, right before. The, and then it's the love bombing again. And then it's the breakdown. And the, the roller coaster ride is taking. And then you start shit. to hate yourself because you, you fell yourself. for it time and time again. You start to hate yourself, right? So for me, it went on for five years. Here's the thing. This is what's tricky. And within my story. I did four and a half years in federal prison as a young wow. adult. My as a young gosh. adult. Went in when I was a teenager, came out in my 20s. After that, got Jesus. into a narcissistic relationship, another prison Jesus. outside for five years. Broke free from that. So the thing that took me there is because I promised myself when I got out that I would never put myself in anything that felt like bondage. If it doesn't feel free, yes. peace, love, I would never get involved in anything like that. I end up, of course, here comes the trial, here comes the test. 
Mm -hmm. I'm familiar with this because the whole prison system is just like a narcissistic camp. Mighty God. <laughs> so I, don't, I leave from one physical prison and walk right into a mental prison for wow. about the same amount of time, a little bit more. What was Jeez. enough for me was when I watched how we went high and low. We went from living from one way to living in a beautiful mansion. We went from mm -hmm. having um, American cars to having extremely foreign cars at the top of the shelf. We went from having nothing to now bank accounts crazy. And then now that being taken away from me because I'm not doing according to how you see I should do. Because mm. I said I have a dream. And then what ends up happening was that it's stripped away from me. Now I'm allowing certain behaviors outside of my home to go on because I am living good, quote unquote. Jesus. But I'm breaking down inside. So mm -hmm. yeah, am I driving in this fancy car? Absolutely. Yeah. Is the house so big that we couldn't even put furniture in some of the rooms? But was I isolated away from my family and my support? Yes. Then was I brought back to give me a reminder of where I left to say, oh, we're not going to stay there. We're going to be here now. And so the constant... The breakdown and build up, the roller coaster was horrible. So for me, it just took one more thing. Mm -hmm. And I already was planning. Usually you're out before you're out. So I was out maybe two years mentally before yes. I was out. And I said, this is it. I'm going to only take a black bag with my stuff. Mm -hmm. You were out before I, you were out. That's powerful right that there. Was, I, had out out. I had $3,000. I had $3,000 on my account. Mm -hmm. I went and got my very first apartment, never had my own apartment in my whole life because I went from being a teenager in my mother's home to now going to prison, having no cellmate, to now coming out and being with a, 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 another cellmate. Another cellmate. Jesus. So now I have my first home, two children, $3,000 in my, in my name, my first apartment, but God. And now I'm now I now I finally connected with a mentor, a God fearing, amazing man, um, mm -hmm. who helped to cultivate and talk to me through the process. Yes. So it took another spiritual man, much older than me, yes. to then the way God aligned it. Jesus. When I look back, the way God has aligned my life, it took another strong man to break that spirit and that energy of and it was, and I had, I did shut-ins in, in, in church. I did, that's, we also have to make sure we align ourselves with the right prayer partners, with people who are not praying on us, but praying for us. Yes. And this man made me believe that I could take over the world because he said, you have a gift within your mouth. And I said, no, I'm just going to continue doing marketing behind the scenes. This is what my degree is. Once again, let me stay far behind because I don't want to go forward because that may offend someone yeah and um yeah. i was just determined from that point on alicia to just prove him wrong prove myself right prove society wrong because just because i came from prison and was an at-risk youth at the time as as well when i went inside i, I mean a troubled teen or whatever you want to call it i just made a, a mistake i was in college mm -hmm. made a naive decision mm -hmm. but anyway it had consequences yes. dealing with a narcissist has consequences yes Worshiping things that are not of God has consequences. Putting something before God has consequences. And so for me, I had to look at, oh, wow, here I am with all my consequences. $3,000, my consequences and decisions that I've made. And now I have to move forward. And I didn't blame him. I forgave. I had to forgive myself because he's who he's who he needed to be. The people yes. that I ran across, they were who they they are who they are. Yes. They are who they are. I needed to forgive myself and say, why why would you put yourself in those positions? Mm -hmm. Why would you put yourself why would you tell yourself other than what you are? And so it was a whole shift, but it, that was it for me. You know, my daughter was mm -hmm. my daughter was one or going on two years old at the time. My son was just turning five. That was it. it I didn't make an excuse. I didn't have a super support network either, but yes. I didn't have an excuse. I just leaned, when I tell you totally on God, because I still walked away with pride and ego. I don't, I didn't want anybody to know what I was going through. Yes. We, we're the perfect, 
perfect asshole. Like, I'm not. Exactly. Because you're I'm, not going to, exactly. Because you've been exalted so high. Now, for you to come back and say all this stuff, people be like, what's wrong with you? That's what you have going on your, in your head. I mean, as a first lady, people, uh, the expectation is you just go away. Nobody hears from you ever again. You've just, <laughs> you know, you just live your life. And that's what you're supposed to do. Because to, to do anything else is not honorable or not, or rebellious, or whatever it is. And this is why it's so important, because I know so many women, I'm getting emotional right now. Your story is really touching me. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Just think, and I can't imagine Jesus. what you have to, go through, have to go through as well. Like, this thing is serious, and people don't realize the backlash and the talking behind your back and the talking in front of your face. Jesus, in front of your face. There are things people don't know you're in situations where you're rolling up into a place innocent. You don't know what's happening. You don't know that that person is smeared. You don't know if their next chick is in the room. You don't know what's happening in that room. And you know what God used to tell me? And I haven't even shared all of my story yet because it's just, it's so much, but it will come in pieces. But it's like you roll up into a situation and the Lord had to tell me, hold up your head. Hold up your head. I used to walk into places and I wouldn't even know until years later what was happening in that situation when, I, when the Lord ministered to me to go forth. You know, I had to sit there and pray in the car with tears in my eyes before I'd walk into a, a building. It was a building and there were vipers in the building, man. And if you don't have God to, to keep you in your right mind, jeez, it's crazy. It's crazy here. People want to... I, I, I say, why do you keep having this conversation? Because I know there are thousands out there. And not just women, men, children. Our kids have to. I saw you having a conversation with your daughter. It really touched me the other night. we got to equip our young children. Because I, I say this is a symptom of the last days. It's not going nowhere. So everybody wants to think, oh, that has nothing to do with me. Well, let me tell you something. you got some people that are trying to give you a heads up trying to prepare you today, whether it's in relationships, whether it's in business, whether it's, you know, in government, where, whatever level, there's levels to this boo. There's levels to this. That bully, that little bully that's giving your kid problems can turn into a psychopath. You know what I'm saying? So we can't have this silence because the enemy works in silence. And I'm so thankful, Lucinda, because people are looking at you, they don't realize, they see you this strong, the fortitude, resilience, all of these things. But Man, like you said, this is your glory story. And I have mad respect for you. Mad respect. Mad respect. Oh, my God. Put some respect on this woman's name right now and put on some love. Because let me tell you something. <laughs> I, I'm not easily impressed. And I'm getting amped right now. Because this woman said she came from prison. Then she entered into a next prison. Did you guys real see that? This is why God says you overcome by the blood of the, the, blood of the lamb and the word of your testimony. Okay, because that testimony right there, there's somebody who's not even in the prison cell physically, but in the prison cells of their own mind, not realizing they've had trauma. They, they, the trauma that they had as a child was a setup for them to enter into these, these situations. And I, you said it, it brought, this whole thing brought a deeper conversation with you, a deeper encounter with God, and you let it run its course. Glory to God. Because I'll tell you right now, you can't stop at this person did this and this person did that. You've got to <laughs> enter in and examine yourself in the presence of an almighty God. Yes. Who will make you uncomfortable sometimes to get you free. Right? Oh my gosh. So, yes. oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Yes. You are, this is amazing right now. I don't think I've had another conversation that has even pulled out as much as what I've even shared these little nuggets of myself this morning. Let me tell you what, now what's this, what would you say now to somebody, like you said that you're helping some women who've been in captivity basically get their fresh start, all right? I know for me, I was like, when I left, I was like, I don't know what I'm gonna do. I just don't, you can't even think, you're living for the day. Like you can't even yes. think about, there's no vision, there's no nothing. Yes. Yes. And, and I just found myself so immersed and the Lord just tried to show me because when I left my situation, I didn't even realize what it was. Mm. 17 years. When I got in the mix, there was no Google. There was no <laughs> conversation. Ain't nobody trying to hear me. Nobody's believing me, whatever, right? Right. So, so what now? Like now that you have, um, 
you know, you've broken free from this. What would you say to somebody who is entering into this next chapter and doesn't know what to do? I speak to women who are stuck, stuck, stuck. I'm pulling spiritual things into them. But what are some of the things, like you talked about support systems, you talked about like, what are some of the things to get to that next level? Working with you maybe, working with me, like what's, what's, what else, what can we do? I mean, th this is a huge support with them connecting, you know, one, like I said, having, you have to have a support network. That's so key. Someone that you can, someone that you can tell the truth, the raw, dirty truth to, you know, yes. um, and not going to judge you and not going to judge you. And then you have to also look at and, and take inventory within yourself. You know, I, I'm, I was a big journaler, you know, everything, I would write mm. everything down. And yes. so writing down what happened, writing down because the mind is tricky. And that's why I used to journal um, and, and it will try to erase pain mm. and yes. trauma. And so if you don't, rem and it's not that you want to relive it, but sometimes you just need to know just how strong you are and why you need to keep pushing forward. So get yourself a journal and stay um, dedicated to that. Therapy. I'm big on therapy. Come on. I'm, someone said it right here. Therapist helps. Amen to that. Yes. I'm big on getting a therapist, but the, creating a plan, create a vision board for yourself. I'm big on vision boards. Yes. What is it that you want to do? What's going to make you feel fulfilled? If you have 50, 11 ideas, try one. Doesn't mm -hmm. work out, try the next one. Doesn't work out, try it. But keep yourself active in purpose-driven things. That mm -hmm. ignites yourself because it feeds what was taken out. Mm -hmm. And then also as a reminder, I had to remind myself, nothing is missing and nothing is broken. Just because these things were stripped and taken away from me. You know, when I look at it from my freedom taken mm -hmm. to giving me uh, uh quote unquote luxuries of life and then stripping that back from me and giving me quote unquote love or what I thought it was and stripping it back from me. Take your power back by loving on yourself, whatever that looks like. Love on yourself, removing any guilt, removing yes. any doubt, removing any uncertainty as much as you can. It's a day to day process. It's it's because you've been you've been so addicted to what mm -hmm. wasn't right that you now have to get a taste for what life is. And that addiction is going to require a detox. That's why I say, give yourself some grace, journal, yes. therapy, talking it out. Hey, this is how I'm feeling. I need to talk because I feel like calling him right now. I feel like calling her right now. You know, I, I, I need to, I just want to apologize because I did uh, ignite that conversation. No, stop mm. cold turkey. Yes. Put yourself in a place to get your power back. You'll always be able to follow up and go through what is in your journal, what has happened. But the yes. forgiveness and the grace and this journey of what is it that I like to do? I know mm -hmm. I got so caught up in doing what they like to do, but what do I like to eat? Yes. You know, you because you forget. You forget. You have to be reacquainted yeah. with yourself. Yeah. Oh, my gosh. Where do I like to go? Hey, I, I like roller skating. You yes. Know, it doesn't mean that I'm, I'm a whore because I want to go roller skating. It doesn't mean <laughs> that I'm, you know, because I want to take salsa dancing because I want to go painting. You know, yes. it doesn't mean, you know, like, so it's, it's really hindering so your growth. It's hindering yes. your growth. Yes. yes, yes, yes. So the grace and, and, and being gentle with yourself, mm. I would say is really the first step in creating that vision and getting yourself so involved in you. This is this is me season. Of course, that means it's God, right? We're not yes. ed edging God out, but we're saying, God, I'm going to choose me because you chose me. Yes. You chose me. So I'm yes. going to choose me. And so choosing you every day with Amen. children or without children, choosing yes. you every day and not being afraid to do the hard things and having the difficult conversations. It is a, it's a true journey, right? It's difficult conversations. But for me, I have to make drastic moves because I know how mm -hmm. sensitive I am to people. And even yes. if you could run a truck over me and I'm like, oh, you know, it, it's not that bad. I'll be fine. You know, so <laughs> if you're that type of person that's a giver and a lover and really true, genuine, genuinely love people, you have to choose you first. Because yes. if not, you'll, you'll keep allowing people to cross, cross the gate give yourself and, some space to say no yes those boundaries are so important especially when you've been given so many gifts and talents that you seem to 
been tapping into and continue to tap into. I, I just feel, I feel, you've done so much, Lucinda, but I see so much more. Yes. So yes. much more in this seat. Like, I, I don't, I see it so I much. So, it's so much more. I I oh my it. gosh. It's amazing. It's such a privilege to know you. Um, this is, this, I'm so overwhelmed by this. This is amazing. Guys, let's go. Is there anybody who has questions? I've seen these comments. Someone says, Lord, that's me. They're, they're, they're resonating. This is resonating. This, th this is resonating on them. Someone says, you have to deprogram your brain and emotional repetition. These lies become like muscle memory. That's so true. They have to be taken down naturally and spiritually. Oh my goodness. Kindness coach approved. Oh my gosh. Be kind to yourself. Remembering nothing happens to you. It happens for you. Thank you, Nadira. All is well. You are forgiven. I love it, you guys. Exercise and rest. That's so big. You know, channeling your any type of energy into something positive for your body, for your wellness. Therapy. Pray, pray, pray. That's what we do here every day. We pray and slay. So log on and, and, and stay no, uh, notified to us praying every day for all of you. We're on this journey together. And oh my gosh, does anybody have any questions right now? Does anybody have any prayer requests right now? Okay. The only way to get out of bondage and release the baggage is to get into God by being raw, ready, and willing. I love that. Lucinda is a healer. Glory be to God. You see that? <laughs> this, is, this is blessing people. It's blessing me. And I don't take it lightly. It is powerful today. Somebody needs to know that they are not alone at yeah. all. They are absolutely not alone. There is greatness. There is glory after this, and it will yes. be greater. It's nothing but a moment. This, like, let me tell you something. One thing I can attest to is all the years of bondage. You, God will release you, and I'm telling you, like, th there was no COVID for me. Okay, <laughs> COVID, COVID was in the prison for me. I was just like. I'm all right. I'm good. Yeah. You know, yeah. like, and, and it's like you said, your memory, God says he will, will store the years that the canker worm stole. I feel brand new. I feel like I'm just living now. It's like, it's not that it's fading away, but there's so much glory. There's so much to look forward to. There's so many beautiful relationships. This, I See, yes. I get excited because I had no relationships barely. Right. So <laughs> even meeting with you, is a is a blessing to me. Some people even know I had to pray some friends in because I didn't know who to trust anymore. So I had to pray for friendships, pray for connections with people, but I had to do it. You know, yes. I had to yes. reach out to you, yes. Lucinda. Do you know what I'm saying? I had to hear from God and say, reach out to her. I didn't know your story. Did I even, was it even brought up? Nope. No. We didn't even talk about it. We didn't even talk about it. But something in my heart was like, you know what? I'm going to reach out to you. And I reached out to like within 24 to 48 hours after that broadcast. And so I want to let somebody know that you can trust your spirit just the yes. same way as if you're in a relationship. And you might not even see everything. But if you feel it like in your core, something is off. You don't need anybody to validate it. You can change your mind in the middle of it. You can say no, even when somebody's giving you roses. You don't have to accept every good word that comes your way. The Bible says, be wary of flattering lips. Ooh. Okay? That's right. Tell me, some of your greatest enemies, frenemies, um, you know, wolves in disguise will be the first ones to say how much they love you and how much they're down for you, ride or die, whatever it is. And so you need the spirit of God. These days are evil, y'all. These days are wicked. You've got to be able to uh, know that there is, trust God, but God can also trust you. Did you know that? God, you said it. God chose you because he knows what he's put inside of you. And you have to be saying, you know what, God, I'm worthy of your trust. I'm going to do what you call me to do, even though I don't always understand it. Okay? Sometimes, especially when you're dealing with a narcissistic spirit, your mind will play tricks on you, but sometimes you've got to abandon your own mind and seek God's mind. That's right. So if God says this is not for you, you're sitting there rationalizing and justifying why you should stay in a bad situation, and God is something's convicting you and pulling you, don't even trust yourself. I couldn't trust my own mind for a moment. Come on. I couldn't trust my own mind. Come it's on. a frightening thing when you can't trust your own mind That's right. that you've been with from the time you were out the womb. And so sometimes you're going to have to say, listen, man, that's what faith is. Not by, by, by sight. You, we, we have faith. We walk by faith and not by sight. Come and on. so I believe that somebody 
<laughs> my sister says, stop telling my business, girl. You know it's the Holy Ghost. <laughs> okay? But listen, so this is my, my advice to you today, for all of you. Please keep this, this broadcast in your arsenal, your go-to. When you're feeling discouraged, when you're feeling doubt, okay? Draw some strength from myself and my sister right now. Follow her right now if you're not already. Take heed to the programs and the things that we're doing in this community. And Lucinda, like, I don't want this conversation to end. It's been an no, hour. Listen, you're my friend now. No, you're my girl. Like, you rock with friend. me. I'm coming down there. You come Listen, I'm listen. coming to where you are. I, listen, Alicia, you're my friend. <laughs> you are my friend, okay? I'm I serious. love you. Yes. <laughs> no, I'm, I'm serious. serious. I don't you feel it? You feel it, right? I oh do. My and gosh. It, it was just by, I, I, when I was watching the broadcast, I was driving home, driving back from my kids. So I'm watching and I'm like, man, I need to be on here. But it's yes. like, mm, you know, it's, here's the, it's just a God connection and I'm grateful for it. I'm grateful for it. And I'm grateful to even share. I had no intentions in, in being on the show. I just was there. Yes. And then I seen, when I seen Charles, I said, okay. Then I said, oh, who's this beautiful light? This oh. ray of light talking. And I said, I want to know her. And so God. I'm just honored for you to be, you know, my friend. And I just thank God for your journey that brought you here. Because Praise if not, God. I wouldn't have known you. Oh, my gosh. And the same to you. I couldn't even say it. You... Oh, my sister says, no, you're both of my friends. Yes, <laughs> hey, but everyone's friend too, okay? <laughs> we got to stay connected. It is my greatest, it is a great gift to see somebody walk in so much freedom. And I know it's a journey. I'm still healing, right? But we're going forth. Like, we're going forth, man. The yeah. Bible says, I put before you life and death. Choose life. Every morning you wake up, choose life. My sister says, pray for me. I walk in God's will for my life. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, we're praying for, for my sister right here. Father, what an honorable prayer today for her to ask and request to walk in God's will. Father, when we begin to give thanks, we step into the perfect will of God in Christ Jesus. Yes. Father, for anybody who is dealing with trying to know what God's will is for their life, just begin to thank him for the journey. He is not a God that he will leave you or forsake you. He will bring you to an expected end. He has thoughts of good and not evil to bring you hope and a good plan for your life this morning. So we just lift up our hands and told us to surrender wherever we're at right now, God. We ask that you would uh, release us mentally, spiritually from any form of bondage and know that we can escape spiritually first in the name of Jesus Christ. My sister said that she left in her mind before she left physically. And I believe that's a blessing of God. Father, create detachments where there needs to be detachments with God, that we may be free to pursue the things of God and let the blessing of the Lord overtake us, overtake us, go before us and bring us peace with what's behind us, that we can be made a new creature in Christ, where we will move forward, where all things in the past are done away with and all things are made new under the sound of my voice. We give God praise and glory for today. Oh my gosh. Lisa, mm -hmm. do you have... Any closing words? I know I just closed it, and I guess I just want to spend a little bit more time. But if you have like anything else that's just on your heart, or did you did you release what you need to release? And I think we might have to do this again in the future. Yes, oh, I don't know. Let's do, do Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do it. We need to do it in the future. We need to do it live. You know, yes, we need to do it in person. Yes, we need to pull some women clothes behind the veil and yes. have some serious i mean pray, pray they got to get prayed before they step into the room that's right, right. To release and then we just need to just show these women just how great they are but that's all you know you've closed it i have nothing to say i'm just looking forward to our future connection oh together gosh. stay yes. tuned uh, more coming from lucinda and alicia ooh, ooh, ooh. oh my gosh i'm finding i always have to bring a track before we leave i'm bringing in a track right now because I have to give God praise before we leave. If anybody is seeking any assistance, even in their business, please follow Lucinda. Um, if you're trying to start a new chapter in your life, please do that. For those of you who are coming online, please pray and slay with me every day. I don't want to do this on my own, okay? I need y'all. I need y'all to pray. But the Bible says where two or three are gathered, he's in the midst. He says, if my people are called by my name, would humble themselves, pray, turn from their wicked ways and seek our face, he will heal the land. I want God to heal our land, heal our communities, heal our homes, heal our relationships of all kinds. Oh my gosh, our children who are also affected by these types of relationships, okay? And so 
And God bless y'all. I can't even bring the music in fast enough. I'm so mad, okay? I love my son. Oh, here it is. Here it is. Okay, okay. Oh, this is not it, Lucinda. I'm, I'm with, okay, here we go. Okay, 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 okay. <laughs> all right, everyone. Beautiful ladies, love you. Bless you, see you, bless you, see you all. Big shout outs to all of you guys are amazing. Please continue to connect with us. I'm excited for our future. I'm going to call you like right after this. Like, hello. <laughs> I hope you have a few minutes. I know you're busy, but I hope you have a few minutes, okay? <laughs> God bless you guys. We'll be back again. Have an amazing day. We command a blessing over everybody's life and go forth in Jesus' name. God bless you guys. It's so amazing to meet you all. God bless you. And we'll see you on Monday. This is Fire Liquor Shot Friday. Make sure you keep following this page. Put on your notifications. We're getting all the way free, all the way free. Oh, yeah. Of course, the devil, but it's all good. We send us on her way to do big things and continue to do big things. God bless you guys. Goodbye. Have an amazing day and stay connected. We pray to be slaves. Now let's listen and obey. And let God have his way. God bless you. We give God praise this day. Oh, oh, yes, we do. We give God praise this day. God bless you. God bless you, everyone. Oh, it was so good to be here. Get God. Get free. God bless you. Big shout out to the whole family. Big shout out to the broadcast. God bless you, the precious shipping coach. Big shout out to everybody. We love you all. In Jesus' name. Oh.